Not only did Congress pass a supplemental for $97 billion, which would keep the war going well towards the end of President Bush's term, but kept, it took, took out a provision that would have required the President to come back to Congress in the event of an attack uh, he desired to attack Iran. Now, I, I want you to think of the implications of that. Here, here we are talking about, ostensibly talking about wanting to wind down a war and getting ready to ramp up another one. What's this about? This country has to take a new direction. This is not sustainable. This is dangerous. And I said as much and to my Democratic colleagues. And this is one of the reasons why I have a chance to win this election. You know, I understand I'm a dark horse, but I think I have a chance to win this election because when people understand that I've been the only person running for president who right from the start has been consistent and was, who's not just right, but has been consistent towards avoiding the conflict, towards avoiding the, the carnage, towards creating peace, and, and, and everything I've said is borne out to be true. People see that. And they see candidates who say they were misled, want to be president of the United States, misled by George Bush. Candidates who say they were for peace but voted consistently to fund the war. Candidates who say they were wrong to, uh, to vote for war against Iraq but who say, with respect to Iran, all options are on the table. When, I, when, when people have a chance, as they will, between now and the Iowa caucuses, to see all these inconsistencies revealed and to see the consequences of the type of thinking of these other candidates, this campaign and my candidacy will stand out in bold relief and give people a real choice where they really can vote for peace as opposed to a continuation of the war, which all the other candidates have already committed themselves to either wittingly or not.